Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you checked out my other video, you know we're doing a lighting series. So, by now, uh, if you haven't watched already, I have my Tundra, our Tundra uh, lighting videos up. Showing the rigid light bar and then the head headlight revolution bar with the OEM LED headlights and the rigid fog lights. And just to recap on this, we have a HID low beams, they're Morimoto H11Bs. We have 9005 Cougars LED replacement high beam bulbs. And we have the Morimoto LED replacement housings, full replacement housings. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you to a tree line and we'll be about 200 feet away from it, give or take. And I'm going to show you uh, how all this light uh, performs at 200 feet. So I'll shine both light bars in my previous videos. If you haven't seen those, check those out. Uh, I have a Oxbeam 32 inch light bar and I have a Nylite 32 inch uh, LED light bar. Both from Amazon. No issues so far. Uh, I did a water durability test before I installed them. Neither one of them leaked water in, uh, which is great. Uh, the bars were fairly cheap. The ox beam was about 70 bucks, and the nightlight was about uh, 37. So, you know, all in them under 120 bucks in light bars. And I'm using the Cali raised LED behind the grill bracket, which allows for two light bars. Uh, behind the grill on 2014 and up tundras if you have a 2020 tundra with the Toyota safety sense uh it's only fit one bar so be sure to check them out quality quality brackets i'm very impressed with them uh they are very solid these lights have no jiggle to them uh whenever you over bumps so all right let's get up here Near the dead end sign, we'll shoot this tree line. I'll show you guys what the what this thing can do. All right, so here we are. Um, so this is parky lights, just low beams, which is pretty good. I mean, they're really good by themselves. Fog lights. I'll have to get the show up on video. And then here's the LED high beams. And they're shining basically that whole tree line up here. The whole thing's lit up here. So now I'm going to turn these off and we'll turn on the first light bar. Okay, here's our aux beam light bar, 32 inch. It's more of a spot pattern. Um, as you can see, it, it doesn't really shine on the sides of the road. It's more straight down. It's really lighting up this whole thing up here. Let's turn that off. Here's the Nylite bar. As you can see, it's more of a flood. Um, I don't know if it shows up, but it's lighting up the whole sides of the road here. Uh, really good, actually. Um, and I, I like to do this with my bars. So I like to have a uh, spot beam for long distance. And then I like to have a flood pattern. So here's them both together. Really good, really good. Uh, like I said, for being budget bars, I'm extremely happy with them, extremely happy. They've had no issues. Um, yeah, I, I can't complain at all. We drive, uh, we drive back roads a lot um, <clears throat> to go visit family and it's just littered with deer. And these have made an incredible difference um, compared to the factory lighting. So let's go ahead and do one with everything. So turn the headlights back on. So there you go. That's low beams, fog lights. And here's everything. I don't know how well that's showing up, but that whole tree line back here is totally lit up totally lit up so yeah uh, now is it as bright as my rigid and head, uh, headlight revolution bar setup uh, no but it's also a, th a fourth to a third of the price guys you know so 
You can only expect so much. But I do want to show, so the, the factory headlights are actually pretty good. If you look over here, I don't know if it's going to show up on video, but they shoot over here. It kind of shines the ditches for you already, which is pretty cool. That's really nice. Uh, a lot of headlights don't do that. And the fact that you're losing your fog lights when you have your high beams on, that is very helpful seeing deer. Because it, it really shoots right in the ditch. And we're going to test the foreigner's uh, turning radius here. And it made it full turnaround. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the lights, guys. I hope you guys, uh, hope this helps people. Because a lot of people, I go, I'm on the Facebook groups for the Forerunner, and I'm on the Forerunner forums. And a lot of people ask what they should do for their lighting on the 2014 Forerunners. Um, on my dad's, I retrofitted his with uh, mini H1 projectors. And those are really crisp. Because if you remember, those have reflector headlights. Where the 14 and up have projectors. So, hope this really hope this helpful. Um, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, like the video, and then let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, Riley and I really want to do more with the Forerunner. So right now it's got a Bilstein 5100, uh, basically all around. It's got all four shocks. The front's leveled. Uh, it's on the 0.85 lift setting but it actually lifted more than that. It's about an inch. So the far itself is pretty level. Um, I think our plan is we'll do uh, some tires. Some more aggressive tires. Right now it's got street tires on it uh, from when we bought it from the dealership. And then uh, we're thinking about new rims. Um, I'm leaning towards the black TRD rims, but everybody and their mom has those, so... I've also looked at SCS wheels. If you have, if you don't know what those are, check those out. Stealth Custom Series. They're built specifically for Toyotas, and they just started doing Jeeps. Um, the hub pattern, the, the hub bore is perfect for Toyotas, so it's perfectly hub centered. Uh, the it's just the perfect. It's built for Toyotas, and they're always out of stock for a reason. So. So we'll think about wheels, tires. Uh, I really, I really like these fifth gens with bumpers. So we may look at doing a bumper uh, in the future here on this fifth gen, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see where it goes. This is Riley's vehicle, so I don't want to make it totally off-road modded, you know, because when we have kids and stuff, it's cool, but it doesn't look cool. I pull up to the to the school and having to load groceries and everything in the back. So want to keep it modest, but. So, check out for that. We'll we'll hopefully keep doing little updates here and there uh, for the Forerunner and the Tundra. So be sure to check out both. And I uh, really appreciate it if you you know if you liked it, like the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you think the setup isn't that great, let me know what you have, and I'll look into what you got. Maybe, there's always something better. So, I'm not saying mine's the best. Um, and then please subscribe. We. Uh, we're trying to do videos, so I try to do DIY automotive videos. Riley's doing kind of the home videos, so still something for everybody. So appreciate your support. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a great night.